Hey guys, so Dice member Triple JU, or I'm just going to call him Ju for short, has been pretty busy lately giving us clues for the Phantom Initiate password. This barcode image appeared as his profile picture, which revealed a number. Googling this number leads to a book on Amazon called the Unicode Standard Version 5. My first thought was it was just a massive coincidence that the number was the same as the ISBN number of the book. Secondly, why is it version 5? From my understanding, the Unicode is now up to version 7, which makes me think there's something in version 5 that was added which has some relation to the Phantom Initiate password. If that's not the case, what are DICE trying to tell us? If you go to unicode-table.com, you'll find the trigrams with its corresponding Unicode conversion. There was a theory going around that the Unicode was actually the numbers you needed to press to generate an alt code with your keyboard. If you don't know what that is, if you open up a word processing program like Word or Notepad, if you hold down the alt key and press, for example, 2630, then release alt a symbol or letter that corresponds to that combination of numbers should appear. However, this method just led to more dead ends. But if you guys want to try for yourself, I'll leave a link to the Unicode website in the description. Now, the next picture to be updated in Ju's Balog profile is this image of what appears to be some mathematical symbols. So from what I understand, to keep things simple as possible, the X means chi, or it could mean a variable. The X with the arrow on top, I'm guessing it means X to the power of some kind of value. And the second symbol from the right is a sigma, which is actually the 18th letter in the Greek alphabet. Now the Y I'm still confused about, I'm guessing it represents another variable. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments section. So does this mean we need to do some pretty heavy math to work out this assignment? Or is it just a hint towards the Greek alphabet? Well, like I said, some of these symbols actually match some Greek letters, but like all the other clues, it just opens up more doors and pathways we can take. Overall, all this information just makes me think, what the hell does it all mean? And more importantly, how the fuck do we connect all this information together? With all this information, you would assume to find the password, we'll need to do some pretty hardcore work. However, like I've said many times, I really don't think DICE want us to deeply investigate each of these clues. I really think all we need to do is just generalize everything and piece them together. We may need to think more in simple terms. So for example, for Rene Descartes, would we have even known about him if we didn't receive that clue? Probably not, so in saying that, it seems like DICE just gave us the Rene Descartes clue in a general way, which might lead us to the method to sort out all this information. I have a theory that the letters generated from the Fibonacci sequence, I think we need to see these letters as a baseline or a starting point that make up the password. And the rest of the single trigrams left over will somehow generate the remaining letters we need. I'm guessing all the clues DICE are given us will lead us to a method of sorting out all the leftover trigrams. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Be sure to let me know what you think of these new clues. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Hopefully we'll work out this madness eventually. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.